Hello. Hi there. Hope you can all see me okay. Said I've got six people, six people now. Seven people. Oh, it's going up. Hi there. It's Sherry here. Sorry about this morning. The storytelling was meant to be on my Facebook. But yeah, I had a few technical problems. And oh, oh, I got my kitty cats here. Can you see my kitty cats? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you scared? Why are you scared? Don't be scared. Okay, so I'm stuck at home, being able to stay in my pajamas all day and stroke my kitty cats. Well, that's it's tough. It's tough. I'm hanging in there though. There you go. You you escape. Ouch. So thank thank you for 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 tuning in today. I've got my onesie on. I had my cat one on yesterday, but it took me half an hour to find my giraffe one because I've never worn it before. It's actually yeah, a giraffe. Can you see that? Do you like that? It's my little giraffe onesie. It's keeping me nice and cosy. And the only thing is it's got buttons down it. And when you suddenly need to go to the toilet, it's a bit of a pain. But I discovered something. Would you like to see what I discovered on my onesie? There is a zip at the back somewhere there. So thank you for designing a, a onesie with a zip at the back. It, it really comes in handy. Today, I've got a really easy tongue twister. I'm just going to start off the story time with some questions, some, some jokes, my terrible jokes, and trivia, and tongue twisters. This is a really, really, really easy tongue twister. Sorry, giraffe, you, you go chill out there for a while. This tongue twister goes like this. Red cabbage remains as a red cabbage, and a wedding dress remains as a wedding dress. That is really easy to say, but it doesn't really sound like a tongue twister, does it? I think I might have to make it a bit harder. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this tongue twister into a German tongue twister. Do any of you speak German? Some of you do? So how would you say red cabbage remains as a red cabbage and wedding dress remains as a wedding dress in German? Some of you don't know. I'm going to show you how you would say it. You say it like... <laughs> is it in reverse? I don't know if this is in mirror writing. You're seeing it in reverse, aren't you? Or are you? Can you read that? It says, Blau kraut bleibt blau kraut and braut kleid bleibt braut kleid. Oh, could anyone say that? Brau, blau kraut bleib blau. You have to say it fast. Blau kraut bleib blau kraut and braut kleid blau blau blau. Can any of you say that? A lemon? Where's a lemon? Can you see a lemon? Do you know why I put that lemon there? Because this tongue twister is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Squeeze, squeeze. That's easy to say, isn't it? Does any of you say it? Easy, easy. I have to do a harder one next time, won't I? <laughs> okay, some trivia to get your brains working. They're already working pretty good, but let's... Squeeze some more out of your brains. I'm going to ask you three questions. Are you ready for three questions? It's a shame. On, on, on my Facebook live stream, it let you do commenting, commenting. But on this one, it doesn't because it's um, I had to rate this for children. And to stop silly people putting silly comments on there, they, they disabled the comments. So when I ask you questions, you're not, you know, you, you're not able to type them in, which is a shame. So let's let's see if you can shout out these questions so loud that somehow I hear them. This one is all about cheese. Do you know a lot about cheese? You do, you know a lot about cheese. Smelly. It's orange. Is it orange? Yellow. Yeah, cheese is yellow. Are you ready for this? Question number one. What country do these types of cheese originally, originally? come from? Cheddar. Where does cheddar cheese originally come from? Huh? Did someone say Honolulu? No, it's not from Honolulu. Cheddar cheese. I'm sure some of you have got this right. Let's see. Originally comes from the United Kingdom. Did you know that? I kind of knew that. So, this cheese. You have to tell me where you think it comes from. Which country? Parmesan. Parmesan. Where does Parmesan come from? Where do you think it comes from? You think it comes from where? Australia? 
No, it doesn't come from Australia. I know that. You didn't say Australia. What did you say? You said Italy. Yes, it comes from Italy. And what about Brie? Brie. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Brie. Where does Brie cheese come from? Do you know where Brie cheese comes from? It comes from Germany. No, it comes from France. If you said France, you are right. Well done. Brie comes from France. And yeah, those were those were our free questions today to get your brains doing some exercise. I'm going to ask you about flags. If you were on my Facebook um, story time, you would already know these flags. Who said Jamaica? That is right. This is Jamaica. And we also did this one. Who knows this one? Did you say Portugal? Well, it's not Portugal. Ah, it's Mexico. It's Mexico. This one's Mexico. And this one was, what was that one? America. Cuba. It was Cuba. You're right. This one was Cuba. So let's do the new ones today. We're learning lots, aren't we? Don't forget, don't forget these. You have to remember these. When I see you in real life, I'm going to say, which flag is this? Because I have them in my pocket and I whip them out and ask you. Who knows what flag? What country is that? This flag comes from which country? I wish you could write in the comments. I want to see what people are saying. That's a tricky one. You're going to have to remember this one. When I tell you the answer, you have to always remember it. Never, ever, ever forget, even when you're 99 years old. This one is the Philippines. Yep, it's the Philippines. That's what their flag looks like. Quite pretty. This one. What flag is that? Do you know? It is the flag from somewhere in Asia. These are all flags from Asia. This one is, I'm sure you know, I'm sure you know. I think Anoa's watching. Anoa, do you know this one? Where's that from? And Nancy. There's someone called Nancy watching. I know you're watching. Well, I think you are. <laughs> Can't actually see you, but I, I guess you guys are out there. This is Vietnam. Good morning. That one's Vietnam. What about this one? If there's a little boy called Yan and Aram watching, they, they know this one. I'm really sure they know this one. It's a tree with two red stripes, white stripe in the middle with a nice green tree. Anyone know where this one's from? It is Catalonia. It's not Catalonia. What does that flag look like? Ah, the Catalonian flag, because I mean, Catalonia is red and yellow. Yeah, and this one, oh, it's not red and yellow. This one is from Lebanon. This is the flag from Lebanon. Did you know that? I didn't, but I do now, and I won't forget. And now, what have we got now? Um, ah, what is it? What is it? I'm going to show you a picture, and you have to turn on your imaginations and guess what it is. Are you good about using your imagination? Are you good with using your imagination? I hope you are, because boo. What is it? Who knows what that is? Is it a piece of furniture? Is it television? No, it's not a television. Come on, get your imaginations going. Now, when I hold it like this, it looks like it's on my head. No, it's not a funny eye and part of my head. No, no. Any guesses? Shall I show you? If you can read, come up to the screen and read this. That is what it is. It's, what is it? <laughs> An astronaut dog. I think it's showing it in, in mirror writing, isn't it? It's an astronaut dog. Those are the doggy's legs. Of course they are. That's easy. And his tail. And that's his space helmet. That is an astronaut dog. <laughs> okay. I think your imaginations have, have been squeezed enough. I think it's time for a story. If you are on my, on my Facebook page, you'll know the name of the story. Who knows the name of the story that I'm going to read? It is called, how did you know? Well, some of you didn't know, but some of you did. I know you did. And it's called Big Mum Apple. Big Mum Plum, sorry. Big Mum Plum. 
big mum plump. And yeah, I've just got a cotton pad with water on it, so I don't have to keep sticking my finger on, on my tongue to turn the pages. I can just dab it on the cotton. Big mum plump. There she is. Hello, my name's Big Mum Plum. Don't I look sweet? Yes, you look very sweet, Big Mum Plum. Let's see what happens in this adventure. Now listen up, said Big Mum Plum, and hear the words I say. Eat your porridge, everyone. You're off to school today. You have to go to school. You don't have to go to school, do you? But these little piglets, they have to go to school. Do you think they like, they like hearing that news? I don't think they want to go to school. That gave her pigs a mighty scare. They jumped from table, stool and chair and scattered here, there and everywhere and they hid themselves away. Oh, we don't want to go to school. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, you can run, yelled Big Mum Plum, but I will always find you. You creep into that hiding place so very secret, very Turn around, you'll see the face of Big Mum Plum behind you. They're going to run and hide. But she's she's going to find them. I think she will. Mums are good at finding you when you hide. Hmm. The first to go was Porky Paul. Where's Porky Paul? This one's Porky Paul. Wait, well, somewhere there. He's hiding. I can't see him. Where did he hide? Behind the coat rack in the hall. A clever place to hide, no doubt. Except his feet were sticking out. Oh, look, Big Mum Plum's found him. Found you, Porky Paul. I can see your little feet. <laughs> so look, has she got him? There she, she's taking him under her arm. She's carrying him off. After, after him was Sneezy Tim, who hid inside the washing bin. He nearly got away with it until uh, uh, he had a sneezing fit. Achoo! He had a big sneeze. Look, popped out of the washing bin. Oh, found you, Sneezy Tim. If only he didn't sneeze. The next one out was Betsy May. Can you see where Betsy May's hiding? The next one out was Betsy May. Oh, what a place to hide away. Big Mum Plum, she pulled the chain. Psh, oh, my bum. Oh, dear, Betsy won't hide there again. She was hiding in the toilet. Then she got wet bum. Oh, minicas. Number four was Sooty Sid up the chimney. Sid had hid. Mum grabbed her brush and pole by pole, she shoved it up the darkened hole. Someone's hiding up the chimney. I thought only Santa Claus hid in the chimney. But Sooty Sid's up there and she put her pole there until she heard the pleasing pop of Sydney coming out the top. Whee! Popped out the top of the chimney. Oh, that was a surprise. Look at his face. Can you see his face? He didn't expect that, did he? He thought he had the best hiding place ever. Who's Big Mum Plum going to find next? Out of the yard, out in the yard, Mum spotted Lance. This one's called Lance. He squatted by the potted plants. She stalked him like a cunning fox and caught him by the hollyhocks. Oh, found you behind the, behind the plants. <laughs> <laughs> did you get him? Look, he didn't expect that, did he? I think I thought the pages were sticking together. They're not. Let me use my, my special turning page machine. Yeah. Then into Susie's room crept mum and blew on Sue's euphonium. She blew it hard with depth and feeling. Bop! Oh, poor Susie nearly hit the ceiling. Whee! She went flying out, didn't she? Oh, she nearly bumped her head on the ceiling. <laughs> and last of all, of course, was Trevor. Trevor, being oh so clever, hid away in Big Mum's car. The wisest place to hide so far. Mm, he thinks he's clever. Look at him. Clever Trevor. How smart of you, dear Trev. Well done. He's feeling pleased with himself. Well done. But you're not as smart as Big Mum Plum. Boo! Found you. She found him. <laughs> Look at that. He's got a big surprise. He thought he would never be found. Thought he could hide away forever. Mum loaded all her pigs on board. Then off to scary school, they roared. Oh, look at them faces. Is that how you look when you're going to school? I want to go to school. Ah, what is that? I'm in my pyjamas. Oh, no. 
<laughs> They're off to school. But when they got there, what they saw just wasn't scary. No, not at all. Photographs of far off places. Painted plates with funny faces. Tips on how to tie your laces. Butterflies on string. Does your classroom look like that? You haven't seen it for a few days. When you go back, do some paintings on the walls like that. They've got paper plates, painted a rainbow, butterflies, a volcano and a dinosaur. Oh, school looks quite fun. And best of all was small Miss Peach, who welcomed them, them and gave a speech on how much she would love to teach them lots and lots of things. Now, school doesn't seem that bad, does it? I bet you can't wait to go back to school. The pigs had such a smashing day. They didn't want to go away. They all decided they would stay when home time came around. Off they went, north, south, east, west, into the cupboard, trunk and chest. Poor Miss Peach, she did her best, but not one pig she found. That they're all hiding. That they're all running off, Betsy Mae, Sneezy Tim. Oh, where are they hiding? Can you see where they're? There's no pigs in that cupboard. Can you see any pigs in the cupboard? Where? This one at the bottom, that's not a real pig, that's a toy pig. Can you see real? No, no, no real pigs in there, is it? <gasps> there is a real pig in there. Who's that at the top? Who's that? Oh, he's hiding. We've seen him. Has the teacher seen him? She hasn't, has she? Shh, don't tell the teacher. Then through the door came Big Mum Plum with a roar of, here I come. She caught them all. Yes, everyone. She caught them all. Look, she found them. Can you see where they're hiding? Can you see any piggies hiding there? I can see one under the volcano, on top of the light, in the trunk. Any more? Oh, boo, there's one over here in the glow. Oh, there's one down there. Oh, is that one in the cupboard there? Is that one? Oh, oh, and here, and here. There's one, there's one, there's one. We found them all. Did Big, Big Mum Plum find them? Yes, yeah, she found them. And when the dreadful deed was done, what's she going to do with them? <gasps> she took them home for buttered bun and chocolate spread on toast. Oh, that doesn't sound that bad. Oh, yummy, yummy. Look, they're happy to go home. They're happy to go to school and to go home now. School is great. Yes, school is fun. We love our school, they told their mum, but not as much as Big Mum Plum. Wow, look, they're having a nice little tea party there with chocolate spread sandwiches. Mm. Big Mum Plum, we love the most. Wow, they look, they look nice. They're all having a story with Big Mum Plum. They're not running off to hide anymore. Maybe it was just a game of hide and seek. Do you like playing hide and seek? Yeah, you're going to play it afterwards. There's so many things that you could be doing, isn't there? Play as many games as you like. I'm sure your parents will let you. It's a special time. You're allowed to play loads and loads of games. What have I got now for you? Oh, I've got songs for you. Are you ready for some songs? Yesterday, I asked you which songs you would like. And someone said a song that involves this one little finger. Does anyone know the song One Little Finger? It's from Super Simple Songs. I'm going to find one little thing. I've just got to speak with my DJ. He's called Grandmaster Smash. Grandmaster Smash, can you find one little finger for me? You can. Are you ready? You need your finger for this and you're going to tap it on different parts of the body. Okay? You ready? I'm going to put the music on. Here we Ding. go. Oi. Tap, tap, tap. Rewind. Are you ready? One little finger. One little finger. One little finger. One little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. Point your finger down. Put it on your head. On your head. Are you pointing on your head? Tap, tap, tap. One little finger. One little finger. One little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. Point your finger down. Put it on your, on your nose. On your nose. Boing, boing, boing. Are you ready? Here we go. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. 
Point your finger down. Where you gonna put it? Put it on your chin. On your chin chin. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down. Where are we gonna put it? Put it on, on your, your arm. arm. Are you ready to tap your arm? One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. Point your finger down. Where are we going to put it? Put it on your leg. Leg. Is your leg. A bit of yoga here. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. Point your finger down. Put it on your foot. On your foot. Ah. That's put your foot. Oh, put it on your leg. Leg. Put it on your arm. Arm, put it on, on your, your chin. Chin, put, put it on your nose. Nose, put, put it on your head. Head, now hey. let's wave goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to you, Grandmaster Crash, head. but not goodbye to us. Shoulders. We have got another song. Would you like another song? We're going to do one more song. This one is... Ah, the one that everyone answered yesterday, which I was, I told them, please don't choose that one. But that was dangerous because the moment I said, please don't choose that one, everyone chose it. So I am forced to sing one of your favourite songs. Let's see if you know what it is. What is that? <laughs> the baby shark. It is, isn't it? Do you happen to know a song about a baby shark? You don't. You don't know a song about, about a baby shark. Who knows a song about? You do. You was just tricking me. Ah. You want to sing this one? I bet the older ones are saying, no. The younger ones. I'm going to ask the younger ones. Little sweet kiddies out there. Would you like me? And you. We're all going to sing it together to sing this song. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we have to sing Baby Shark. And this is a version from Super Simple Songs. It, it's a bit different from the other version that you may know, but it's, it's easy to catch on to it. And we have to do the movements for this. What does a baby shark do? How do we do that action? That is the baby shark action. And for the, was it mummy shark next? You can tell how many times I've listened to this song. Not very many. I always turn it off. Um, <laughs> that's a nice song. It's a nice song. Mummy shark. What does mummy shark do? Like this, Mama Shark. And so, what about Daddy Shark? What does he do? Papa Shark. He's got a bigger mouth, hasn't he? Mm, Daddy got a big mouth. Here we go. That one's for Papa Shark. You're gonna go like that. So, what about Grandma Shark? Poor little Grandma ate too many lollipops, and she hasn't got teeth, and she's like this. Mm, Grandma Shark, don't do it with Grandma Shark. And what about Pop Grandpa Shark? He's got big mouth too, so we have to go like this. And he's got no teeth. I wonder what he's been eating. Lots of chocolate and muffins. So here we go. We're going to do this for Grandpa Shark. Grandma, Grandpa Shark. And then the sharks are going to be hungry. What movement will we do for hungry sharks? We're going to go hungry. Oh, hungry sharks. Ah, you rub your tummy. Hungry, hungry, hungry sharks. Okay. And then the little fish are going to come. There's going to be little fishes. They're going to look like that. And they're going to be scared. Oh, scared little fishes. What movement are we going to do for the little fishes? Can you show me? What are you going to do with your hands for little fishes? Are you going to do like that? Or like this? Little fish. And they're going to swim away. And we're going to go faster and faster. And if you've got lots of room around you, when the fish get scared of the sharks and run around, you're going to run around. But you're going to do it carefully. Kind of fast but slow and don't bump into things. You ready for the song? I'm just going to ask the DJ to put, put the music on. Grandmaster Crash, are you ready to put the music on? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's put the music on. Um, Come on, Grandmaster Crash. Hurry up. Paying you good wages for this. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so first we've got the baby shark. Are you ready with your hands? Like this, the baby shark. Are you doing it? Oh, yeah, you are. Baby shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. 
Who's coming next? Mama, it was Mama Shark. Mama and what the hand movement did we do for Mama Shark? Mama Shark. Yeah, you're doing this. Like this. Mama Shark. Mama Shark. Well done. And what was this one? Papa Shark. The big mouth. Like this. Papa Shark. Papa Shark. And now we had... Grandma with no teeth, the poor little thing. Oh, she's got no teeth. Grandma shark. Grandma shark. And then we had Grandpa. Grandpa shark. What was he doing? He had the big mouth, remember that? Grandpa shark. With no teeth. Grandpa shark. Grandpa shark. And then we had these hungry. Oh, hungry shark, sorry. No, no fish yet. So, hungry sharks. Are you looking for those little fish? Where are they? We're going to see them soon. Are you ready? Hungry sharks. And now, a little fish. Little fish. Where are your hands? Are your little hands coming like this? Little fish. You can run around a bit. Little fish. And they're going to swim. Swim away. How do you swim? Show me how you swim. Do you swim like that? Swim oh, swim like that? Because swim all different. You can do backstroke. Swim away. Quick swim, swim. The sharks are coming. Swim faster. Oh, quick, swim faster. Quick, quick, quick. Go fast. But be careful. Don't bump into things. Quick swim, swim. You're not going to have They're going to get you. They're going to get your bones. Oh, they're going to get your toes. Quick, quick. Hide. Ah, faster. Faster. Fuck this doggy paddle. Doggy paddle. Quick, quick, quick. They're coming. Ah, my goodness. Oh. Oh, I can feel what goes just behind me. Faster, faster, faster. Come faster. Quick, 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 but be careful. Ah, sharks! Oh my goodness! Are we safe? Are we safe? Quick, get safe, get safe. Oh, can you go like that? Safe at last. We're safe now. Don't worry, don't be scared. The sharks are gonna wait. They can't find us. Safe at last. Bye. Bye We're going to wave goodbye sharks. to the sharks. Bye bye, sharks. Can you say bye bye, sharks? Bye bye, sharks. If you're with your brothers or sisters, they can be the sharks. You say bye bye, bye to them. Sharks. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, bye sharks. Bye bye, bye, bye sharks. You didn't get us. Na, 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 na. Yeah, we're saved. <sighs> Are you out of breath yet? Yeah? <laughs> so now, before I go, I'm going to go today. And yes, yeah, sorry if those didn't get the beginning of this and went to my Facebook page and, and I had a lot of technical issues this morning. I was, I'm surprised I came out of it alive. Oh. So I'm going to tell one more joke. And for this, I need to put my the hood up on my onesie. This helps my jokes to not be so bad. It helps them not to be so terrible. And you have to help me with this joke. I hope you know the answer. How does a lion like his meat? How does a lion like his meat? Do you know? He likes it fried. He likes it with onions. How does a lion like his meat? Some of you might know the answer. What noise do, do lions do? What sound do they make? A lion likes his meat. Can you roar with me? I'm going to ask again. I'm going to ask, how does a lion like his meat? And everyone's got to roar really loud. So pretend I didn't even say, say that joke. Just, oh, what? Did she tell a joke? I didn't listen. I didn't hear that. So are you ready? How does a lion like his food? Ah! <laughs> Did you roar? Wow, that was a loud roar. Oh, me ears. I have to go to the doctor now. Okay. That was the end for today. But I'm going to, I'm going to do one tomorrow. At 11 o'clock. <laughs> and hopefully I won't have these technical issues. I don't know what happened with the Facebook live one. Arrgh. It was working perfectly yesterday and today it just went it just like, no, nope, not going to work today. Sorry, I'm on lockdown as well. And it didn't work. But it works on here. So, and let me know if, if you like, if you just go to my channel, send me maybe a private message on my What Children Really Want channel and let me know if you prefer it on, on um, Facebook or if it's okay here, then it's more accessible to more people. So, yeah, just let me know. I need lots of feedback. Give me feedback. Feedback. Yeah? All right, then. And thanks for tuning. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming to my channel and watching. And I'll see you tomorrow at 11, okay?
and I get a bit more structured today. Yeah, it just went a bit, bit crazy with these technicalities. So you have a good day and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye bye.